You are about to meet a University of Washington legend. This is a man who still fights for diversity and equity on campus after more than 50 years. Emil Petrie's activism dates all the way back to a famous student protest back in 1968, and that changed the course for black students. He showed Kyra 7's Graham Johnson how it all began. We walked with Emil Petrie through Red Square, long the center of student activism at the University of Washington. The modern day activists, I urged them to study history. As a graduate student, Petrie made history here in May 1968 during a protest outside. We decided to occupy this building. Members of the Black Student Union marched to the president's office upstairs. I prefer the elevator these days at my age. <laughs> they interrupted a meeting as UW President Charles Odegaard considered their demands for more diversity among students and faculty and a voice in decisions. The president's office, I think, is right over there. And then there's the, the boardroom. At one point, the administrators left for an inner room. And once they went inside, we barricaded them inside. We found out later that there were close to 75 helmeted police waiting for the word to come in and take us out. The police never moved in. After four hours of negotiations, Odegaard agreed to the students' demands. Days later, the faculty senate did too. That's how you, you bring about change, is, is you don't accept the status quo, and it requires activism. That activism came at a time there were fewer than 200 black students at UW out of a student body of more than 30,000. Petrie grew up in the Jim Crow South and after earning his bachelor's degree in Louisiana, came to Seattle hoping to get away from racism. Then I got called the N-word, so that changed everything. Um, that word was used a lot down south, but never to my face. The 1968 occupation included people who would grow to prominence in Seattle, like future King County Council member Larry Gossett. It set the stage for establishing the university's Office of Minority Affairs and Diversity, where Emil Petrie would eventually retire as associate vice president. He's still a senior advisor and a regular fixture on campus. Petrie is also the 2020 recipient of the prestigious Charles Odegaard Award, named for the president he confronted. All about the students. I'm student senator. Petrie's commitment to mentoring led him to direct the Office of Minority Affairs and Diversity's Instructional Center, where students come for academic help. It's a program he's advocating for again, saying students deserve much better than this worn out building. It needs to be a, a modern building with all the accommodations. It is Petrie's latest cause as the UW's champion of diversity still finds a lot of work to do. As they say in the streets, I'm going to come at them hard. In Seattle, Graham Johnson, Cairo 7 News. Wow, well, that man is a courageous agent for change, and every student ought to know that story. And you can find more of our Western Washington Gets Real stories on Cairo7.com. Click on the Gets Real section at the top of our homepage.